You've waited a lifetime to look better and feel better, and now here's your chance. Fitness Friday on WNDB. Call 239-0033 and have your questions answered on health, fitness, and a better life. Fitness Friday is brought to you by Bodies by Tasso and Company, 1140 West Granada Boulevard in Ormond Beach. And now, here's your host, Tasso Kiriakis. All right, welcome to Fitness Friday and uh, co-host and co-sponsor of the show, uh, Mitch from, from Love Whole Foods in the store, uh, hey. in the house. Hey, Tasso. Two locations in the Daytona Beach area. And, uh, I, you know, before we get into the show, because I, oh, we always get into a conversation, I forget to mention our other co-sponsor, which is uh, Dr. Fon. You know, he, uh, he said, you know, make sure that you tell people about, uh, I can work with chronic or I can work with tra traumatic type injuries. And, you know, with all the Dancing with the Stars stuff I've been doing, you know, I've done some yoga, <laughs> I've done some Pilates, I've done some... Uh, some ballet. Done some There's praying. A, lot, lots of praying. <laughs> you know, where's Terry? I need to slap him, my daily slap. You know, he, he runs for me on Monday nights now because I, I go by, call him names, and slap him. But, uh, you know, I, I, mean, I really am enjoying the process of, of, the, uh, of going through the Dancing with the Stars stuff. For people who don't know, I'm in Dancing with the Stars. I'm paired with a girl named Annie Hawkins. Every Wednesday, Annie teaches a Zumba class at Body. So that what we're doing with that is, if you're a member of the club, it's five dollars. If you're a non-member, it's ten dollars, and that money goes directly into the fund to help us um, help us get ready and uh, sponsor as much money into the contest as possible. What we're doing with the money, let's say we we raise seventy-five dollars. Okay, that seventy-five dollars goes to buy a ticket to the Symphony Society Dancing with the Stars event, and then we're going to pull it out of a raffle hat. Uh, as we get near the end, so we're we're having a good time with it. Uh, I'm I'm doing a lot of dancing to try and get ready for this. It's uh boy, <laughs> it's it, it it tests you because you got to learn the choreography. You got to keep your frame. You know where all this stuff starts to come in. You know why uh, Joe Joseph Pilates <clears throat> did what he did in teaching teaching dancers the, this uh, core strengthening. <clears throat> yeah. But um, yeah. but you know so one of the things that's been you know from my wrestling years I have a uh, pretty bad knees, and uh, so. My my one knee is flared up on me, so like about every other day I have to go to Dr. Fon and say, Dr. Fon, I did this, this, and this. Because, you know, my two times a week that I work out, I haven't stopped. The only thing I've stopped is my burst training right after my workouts. So that's that's the only difference in what I'm doing. So all this extra stuff I'm doing, it sort of gets me into an overuse type of pattern with my knee because I'm on my feet. Well, i got to tell you, I, I went in there on Tuesday just limping. I mean, for some reason, it just flared up uh, out of nowhere. Five, six days had been great. You know, my body's adapting to the, the more work now. So I hadn't been been seeing them as frequently. So I went there. I, could, I was hobbling around. I mean, you know, you know, uh, people are going like, oh, man, you're not going to be able to work, you know, the way that thing, the way you look. I went in there. I, I came walking in the next day, and everybody goes like, what happened to you? I said, well, I went to see Dr. Fod, and I went mm -hmm. dancing last night. And they go like, you know, really? So, but um, I want to encourage you. I want to uh, hope that you'll go to D, uh, dbss.org. That's the Daytona Symphony Society. I'm there right now. And, and uh, go, on, uh, go on under events, Dancing with the Stars. Click on my name. Buy a, buy a ticket. Buy a, buy a table. Make a donation to the Symphony Society. All the money is going to... Uh, benefit the youth education and music program. You know, if you click on there, you have three choices to uh, support you and, right. and the charity. Right. It's $10, uh, what is it, 75 or and 750 for If you get the a table, table of 10. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. And, gotcha. you know, and, and here's, the, here's my theme to this. I've given up going and playing golf where I could only t entertain three people at a time, okay? I, I or maybe seven if the if the if the force from behind us was yeah. there, okay, but but now there'll be hundreds of people entertained that night and laughing at, at uh, Fred Flintstone. So unique, yeah, it's a unique way the way you've combined dance and comedy yeah. uh, into one act. <laughs> so anyway, so welcome to Fitness Friday, and I'm gonna make some bold claims. Here's here's a couple bold claims for you. Number one is I can make you younger. This show can make you younger, okay. Um, we can get you off medications. We can show you how to lose all the fat you want to lose. Okay? And we can reverse most of the chronic diseases that we see as a result of lifestyle diseases by the information you'll gain from this show and taking action. Now, 
that that information comes and we've talked on this show about the disease continuum we've talked about how most of us start out healthy and what happens through our lifestyle we do not we do not keep our lifestyle up so what happens is we begin to see a deterioration of our lifestyle and we've talked on this show about the synergy okay we've talked about there's three things that we want to do we want to have the right nutrition we want to have moderate aerobic exercise, and we want to do some resistance training. And the one thing I don't talk about in that whole combination of those last two especially is that recovery is overlooked and is very important because we have good stress in our life and we have bad, st bad stress in our life. The eustress, the good stress, the euphoric stress that occurs, it comes along and begins to change the body. But we still need to rest after we've had that stress. We need to recover. We need to put good nutrition. So that's what we've been focusing and talking about. Now, today, we're going to take a little bit different angle, Mitch, in what we talk about. Because, you know, I think last week on the show or maybe two weeks on the show, I said, you know, the, 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 the women that go and they, they want to be so beautiful and they get up and they, they take their showers, they do their hair, and then they put their makeup on. And there's over 500 toxic materials in the in the cosmetics that they put on their face. Right. At Love Whole Foods, we screen okay, our... Okay, let me finish the comment. Okay, get, okay. Right. So, so we, we have over 500 toxins. Of those 500 toxins, over 70 of them are carcinogenic, are known carcinogens. Now, if you talk to a woman and you tell her that fact, her face will get struggled a little bit, but the, she will turn around and she will go like... Well, I, I've got to look good. I've got to look beautiful. Come to love Whole Foods. In the meantime, they don't remember that part of that looking, if, if they take the good nutritional advice we give, if they talk, if they learn about fasting, if they're exercising regularly, if they're drinking lots of water and, and, and they're getting good And rest, that's not municipal tap water. The, they're, they're going to feel and look better, and their skin's going to look better. Now, you, you can't brought to attention, and you make a comment about the cosmetics, but you brought to attention an article that appeared on uh, page 8A of the Wednesday News Journal this week. Tell That's us right. about it's it. It's in their science and health, exactly what you mentioned, Tasso. Um, the American Chemistry Council even was quoted that high pesticide exposures, um, um, inorganic materials and things like skin creams, think sunblocks that are used on a regular basis are a major contributing factor to not only uh, uh, female reproductive cancers, primarily because they're the largest consumer of these skincare products, but it also has been linked to prostate cancer, primarily because most of these pesticides uh, or compounds like mineral oil, PABAs, um, uh, synthetic colorants, even synthetic fragrances are a major uh, contributing factor to cell dysplasia, which, you know, could uh, end up being a simple keratosis or it could be something even much more serious like a melanoma. What's so great about our local paper publishing this is that it's not just a, a, a blip on their smartphone. You can read it and digest it and understand that it has had an impact even on birth defects. Uh, I mean, when the American Chemistry Council, which is certainly not an agency that I uh, would make any contributions to, uh, better living through chemistry is one of the reasons why October is Cancer Awareness Month, all forms, not only breast cancer, but all forms of, of cancer. And that vigilance is what Love Whole Foods has tried to work on for the last 25 years. We look at our skincare products with the same diligence and the same uh, 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 culling of ingredients that don't meet our standards as we do with our organic fruits and vegetables, of which obviously uh, the listeners know Love Whole Foods is the largest resource of not only organic fruits and vegetables, but local fruit, organic fruits and vegetables in Central, in central Florida. So when, when we start to talk about different things, and, and let's look at a couple courses where people run into toxicity through their water. Uh, you know, w first of all, the reasons we get we yeah, get John will be on the phone in two seconds. The reasons we get uh, toxicity is because we, we don't look at the, the, the sources of our nutrition that come in. Um, you know, today I, I started a new, a new cycle today um, in my nutrition. I've added something to what I do, Mitch. I began to have some uh, kombucha tea in the morning because of its probiotic activity, because of the um, 
because of the um, the fermentation. The, the, well, the fermentation for the probiotics and that, but the vitamin B complex that's that's in there. It's great for the stomach. It's good energy for you. And you know what, what we what we got to do is we got to look at the right nutrition. Okay, when we when we go back to that synergy formula, the right nutrition is this. You know, eat what you can raise or grow, or go and buy organic and and that type of thing. Number two is watch out for GMOs, trans fats, and sugar because that's how we stimulate a lot. Of, you know, if you've got toxicity in your body and, and, and that's taxing your immune system, that's an internal chemical stress going on. Now, think about you have mental stress, you have physical stress you put on your body, and now you come back and you add these GMOs, you add these trans fats, and you add these sugars into your, into your system. Now you've, you've begun to produce a, a, a perfect storm for your body not to be able. And now put on top of that if you don't rest enough and you're trying, you know, that type of thing. We'll get to it in a minute. So when you're eating, right nutrition also means eating lean protein, a starchy carb. Starchy carbs are what? They're your vegetables. They're your salads, okay? Right. And, then, and then a fibrous carb is your baked potato, your sweet potato, your, your wild rice, your, your brown rice, uh, those stuff, quino, uh, quino is a, quinoa. Uh, quinoa. Quinoa is a great it's a seed, right? In a in a in a great, in, it's, yeah. And then, and great then you, protein. And then you have your starchy carbs on your plate, and the starchy carbs are your fruits and 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 that type of stuff. Uh, from cauliflower, uh, uh, cabbage. Right. I mean, going back to your fibrous carbs. Right. Okay. And and you can get those. And then and then we we've talked so much about probiotics because again, if you have toxicity. You have to cleanse the cell. You have to cleanse the body. And this ferment, fermented products that you take in helps that cleansing process, doesn't it? Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about that and talk about one thing I've read an awful lot about, which I'm not that familiar with, quite honestly, is what they call the, um, oh, how do they call it, fermented vegetables. Uh, tell us a little bit about that because they cause a bit of a controversy. Yeah, well, it's, what's interesting, on the, the new research is not just on probiotics, which 25 years ago, Love Whole Foods introduced to the marketplace. There was no one in this town that knew the function of probiotics, and we've talked about it. everybody out there now watches the mass market ads for Activia and and, and the like. Um, we've been doing probiotics for 25 years, but the probiotics are organisms of which each individual listener needs to understand that they have five pounds of that probacteria. And it needs to be fed, and it's fed with what are called prebiotics. And those prebiotics are, are derived from things like sour, the, the one that the listeners are going to be most familiar with is sauerkraut. But if you go to uh, Korea, they do a sauerkraut uh, with uh, daikon radish called kimchi. Um, and again, one of the reasons why these third world countries don't have the degenerative gut diseases that we've got is that they consume these these nutraceuticals that feed that biomass. And in your, in, in your previous uh, show, we talked about that brain-gut immune system link. Well, it starts with the gut. It's the foundation of our immune system. And so you're right, those fermented things, kefir um, in, in Russia, um, um, uh, every culture has developed it in one in well, one it's, it's form or another. Craze, it's why the craze of Greek yogurt now led to the Activia. It, and, it, and then and then what what did the mass market do? They they took they the, added the, sugar. They, they, they added took, sugar well, to they it. They took the villain of fat. They they made no fat or low fat stuff. And what do you got to put in to, to preserve flavor? You know the reason people love Greek yogurt when they say, "Wow, look, it's so full of a flavor." And, and, and then someone goes, well, look, you know, 40% of the calories come from fat, but it's good fat that the but body needs to repair. Sure, it's like olive oil. Yeah. I mean, you and I, I gave you that gift of that organic olive oil that was specifically from a region in Greece that understands that olive oil, again, is one of those essential nutrients that feeds that biomass. It's an omega-9. And, and does it have fat? Sure, but it's a good fat. How do we know that? Well, and there isn't a listener out there that doesn't know what the Mediterranean diet is. What is it? Healthy heart diet. Right. And I and by the way, we've had this discussion enough. If you do a healthy heart diet, you're doing a diabetes diet. And if you're doing a diabetes diet, you're also doing an arthritis diet. And if you're doing that diet, you're also doing, guess what? Bada bing, cancer diet. They're all the same. No sugar, no refined carbs, you know, just um, no CRAP. 
I, it's just it's what we've been and, doing and so for people a year. It's is, been exciting. So people know what that is a C reactive protein. When you say CRP, it's and and you know the people that I work with, and I don't do this from a diagnostic standpoint. When a, when a member comes to me now, one of the questions I ask is, "Who's your physician?" I, I want to know that because if I run through this evaluation and I find that they have some sort of special need. I want to be able to call their physician and understand uh, what they're going through and what they're being treated and, and looking at the medications. And, you know, what's become very evident is the fragmentation of the medical, medical, medical practice these days because the guys, have gotten so spe- the guys and girls have gotten so specialized, you know. And a lot of times they don't look at uh, what each other is, is prescribing or the effects of that. Now, I'm, I don't get into that. I, I send them to a pharma- uh, pharmaceutical guy that can say, hey, listen, you know, these two things are really counteracting each other go back to these two doctors and let them know. But but the other part of it is is I'm asking physicians uh, with their patients that if it would be possible for them to measure the CRPs. Not because sure be, not because I want to I want to diagnose anything. What I want to see is that CRP measurement that's in their blood test is a great indicator of their improvement or their movement along the disease continuum to health or to more disease. If that number goes up we're not having a positive effect or something, toxicity or eating habits or something's having a negative effect. If that, if that number moves down, there, now we're starting to change the numbers that are meaningful to making them be healthy. And that, and that change in those numbers comes from their exercise component with, that we'll talk about later in the show here, as well as their aerobic contribution that they're getting. Yeah, whole body wellness. The, I, the, 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 all three elements that you mentioned at the start of the show. And, and CRPs are, are a, me, a systemic measure of inflammation in the body, and not inflammation like we, we cut something and we got a little reaction that's red around it. People have inflammation in their whole body, which we've, we've, beat, to, we've beat like that dead horse, okay? Yeah, Dr. So, Steven Sinatra, MD, uh, the author of um, Metabolic Cardiology, one of the foremost cardiologists in this country, he just summarizes it. CRP tells you that the house is on fire. But the house is your cardiovascular system, and it'll be on fire long before it shows up on blood pressure, um, you know, where, it's, where there's an obvious um, uh, manifestation of uh, cardiac arrest or something like that. Yeah, I'm really proud. Uh, Dr. Hezzy Cohen, who's my personal doctor, he recommends CRP as a, as a normal routine, routine, especially with anyone past 50, just because... There's that five decades worth of environmental, right. nutritional stress, lack of exercise. Um, and that's his, that's his canary that's telling him that he needs to look deeper at a blood work if that CRP is lit up. Well, you know, it's, it's very reassuring to see that physicians are now going in that direction. They're sort of realizing it. And, and, and let's, let's be very honest and, and maybe upset some people. I apologize for, for that if I do. But what's one of the reasons why doctors, as a normal routine, have not have not said to let's go do CRP when we do your your blood test, right? The reason is is because the pharmaceuticals haven't pushed it because pharmaceuticals do not have a medication that can drive down the systemic inflammation. If they did, it'll become a bigger prescription drug than cholesterol meds, the, the statins ever did. Now, have they tried to develop some? Yes, they have. But what have they found? huge huge side effects to try and do it other than outside of the lifestyle that we can do when we talk about this nutrition to finish up right nutrition okay uh, we talked about eat what you can raise and grow or grow or buy the organic live obviously things, okay? that's the that's okay. the gold standard watch out for the gmos trans fats and the sugar eat lean protein starchy pro uh, carb and a fibrous carb on your plate every meal okay now that flies in the face of what a lot of uh, other people hear because they go like, "Oh, I, I heard, I heard that uh, rice isn't good for you. I heard that yeah, it has that, arsenic uh, I, in it or I, something." I then. heard that potatoes aren't good for you. Well, if they were grown, if they're if they're not in the processed form, like Uncle Ben, you don't want Uncle Ben's white bleached rice. But if you mm. get real wi- wi- wild rice, or you can get real brown rice that has its grains. Right, Lumberg and so- brown rice that the <laughs> Japanese have a standing order to buy our, the entire crop. Right. So the, th- the, the, the fourth part of this right nutrition is to eat often because you are the master of your metabolism. The fifth one is to enjoy a cheat day every so often. It's okay to cheat. We don't want to be food Nazis. Listen, right. I, I, like I, still, I still enjoy my Dr. Pepper and a small bag of Doritos once a month, okay? Dr. Pepper right. a little more frequently. Right, but you so, built a bank account where you can afford 
to make that <clears throat> that withdrawal, and that's fine. And, and and remember, most of all, it's you versus you. You're the person that has to do this. You're the person that has to watch and say, here's what I'm going to do to make sure that I stay healthy. It is it is your prerogative, and it is your decisions that you make. We're here to help you with those decisions, but that's the way we look at it. The exercise component is to do more than you're used to doing, but not that much. You know, this week we started the uh, Alive Across America program. That is a program that's going across America. Yeah, every and, every and Monday night. It's exciting. Come, every Monday night it comes to you by webinar, and then it gives you the routine. And if you have questions about the routine, you can call me, and then I get with you and, and help you with it. It's not too late to get involved in it. If you want to get involved, it's yourhealthbeginsnow.com. Yourhealthbeginsnow.com. Now, here's the predication of that program. We, we take this first rule. Do more than you're used to doing, but not too much. This week, the people who got in that program, the first thing they did is the same thing that I do when I evaluate a client that comes into me. When I sit down with a person to do a one-on-one -on -one program, I make I a make couple decisions about them the, to the best of my experience will allow me. Number one is I say, is this person a chrysalis, a thoroughbred, or a phoenix? Now, what do I mean by that? A chrysalis to me is a person that doesn't understand the hope they should have from an exercise program. They've never benefited. They've probably started hundreds of programs, but never really realized a long-term benefit from it. So this is that person that is in that cocoon, going from the caterpillar to the beautiful butterfly. They don't have the vision of the butterfly in their eyes yet, in their, in their imagination. The second one is the phoenix. The phoenix is the person that used to be fit. They come in, they, they say things to me like, when I was in high school or when I was in college, or back in 1978, I did this, okay? They have a history. They have, a, they have an experience that ties into knowing they can get in great shape. Now, the thoroughbreds are the people like my triathletes that come in, and they go to me, they go like, you know, I ran 26 miles a day, and I biked 100 miles, and I swam three miles in the ocean. Man, I, I'm horrible. I'm so out of shape. I'm going like, what? You know, <laughs> I almost want to just strangle those guys. So everybody has to evaluate where they're at. Now, there's other things we go through in this evaluation process they go through, but once they know where they're at, they then have a nine-minute program that they can start to work with okay and that nine minute program gives them some things to do from from stretching to lymphatic stimulation to all that that's what the alive across america program gives them now they need the challenge muscle so because if they don't use it they're going to lose it okay so you need the strength training so that you work from that perspective we look at aerobic exercise the third component of the exercise component we look at that from the standpoint of not 40 minute sessions which take up your day and you can't get your kids to school and, and you say oh you don't have time to exercise we look at it as a six to nine minute commitment and we're seeing great results and we and then the other thing i'm going to throw out as a caution is watch out for too much intensity watch out for these crossfits and insanities and all this where they show these people exercising like mad people to get in shape and you know what? It's a, it's an overtraining. It's too much. Listen, I I consider myself a fit individual. I I promise you that if I went to CrossFit tomorrow, I would I would be limping around on on uh, on Sunday because yeah, I watched because the, of my knee history. I watched right. an insanity infomercial. What they don't show you is the crash. It takes a week for them to recover from doing two or three days of that stuff. I, it, it's impossible to maintain that level of insanity. Right. I, it just it. I, I, what I chuckled was it was absolutely appropriately named. And, and, the, and the thing about it is, is I have friends that I, um, that I, that I talk a lot to and, and, um, and, and who are, are active athletes. And, and I tell them, I said, look, you know, look, when I talk, when I train a trainer, you know, I go to doctor, let's go back to Dr. Fon for a minute. Why do I respect him as, a, as an acupuncturist, okay? Because my first experience with an acupuncturist when I had one was I went to him and I had a problem with my knee. This was back uh, 12, 14 years ago. And I heard acupuncture was great. I went to it. This guy in my knee, uh, Mitch, put no less than 40 needles, 40 pens, you know, the, the healing micro -healing. Okay? He put one in my ankle opposite, but he put, had about 40 of them around my knee. It's like one of those protein shakes that, got, that has 570 ingredients. Right. So what happened was is it was a poor experience for me. I hated it. I didn't mm -hmm. like it. Okay. But what happened was is it turned me off to that. So I, I, when I met Dr. Fawn and I went to him and I had this issue with my hip the first time, I went to him reluctantly. But, you know, I developed a relationship. He said, I promise you it's going to be a different experience. He put three of those needles or micro-healing filaments in me. 
And, and I go like, well, aren't you going to put more? He goes, no, this is all you need. It's the it, same it's approach that we're talking about with probiotics. And it, it, yeah, right. It's, it's not the knee. It could be um, your digestive meridian in, the, in the, the, the soft spot between your thumb and your index finger. Um, the Chinese understand not just knee bones connected to the thigh bone, but that there's a whole energy matrix that needs to be harmonized. The knee's just the, 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 the canary singing, but it's not the underlying problem. Right. So now I go back to my point about Dr. Fon. Is, so I was talking with a friend of mine. He says, well, I'm, I'm looking for a personal trainer. He says, how do, I, how do I find a good personal trainer? I said, well, let me tell you one thing I tell my trainers, that when you're inexperienced as a trainer, how do you give your clients a better workout? You have them do more stuff because you don't know any better. You don't know what to do to them. You don't know how to get the intent. You don't know how to mentally motivate somebody. And so now, as a result, I compensate by saying, well, if I give Mitch more, if I make him do another set, or if I make him do 100 uh, sit-ups instead of 60. It's or, an old paradigm. Again, it's, I, 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 I have a limited experience. <clears throat> and, and my point to Dr. Fon was that he had, he had to use three, and I had significant change in the very first time that I was treated by him. When, when I train someone, the first time I train them out of the blocks, I train with four to five exercises in one set. And I teach the proper form, and I teach the proper pace and breathing because I want to make sure that I address it, and I make sure that we focus on the exercise being proper. And about the most and the underlying issue, the right. underlying the con, con, the, uh, malaise, the underlying weakness, if you will. Right. So now what happens is we begin to build a foundation that strengthens that person and gives them results. Now, when they get to be really, really in great shape. Again, going back to the, the thoroughbred triathletes that I train, how many exercises do they do? Do they do 100? No. They do about eight or nine. Okay? So, again, the intensity is present. It's proper and adjusted to their, to, to their history, to their body, what it can accommodate, and to what they've adapted to. And, and for that reason, that's why we have success. And that's why you do not need to exercise every day and spend 40 minutes a day doing aerobic exercise because we build a system that the metabolism comes along and is created to burn it. Now, now we bring in back in the nutrition part of it, which is getting rid of the toxins in the body, getting, getting the cell so the cell can do it. We have to get out of the way all the interference. And that comes again from the sugars, from the bad fats, from all those things that people put into their body. But that, also if they're doing the workout and they're not drinking enough to get rid of the set, dead cellular debris and the oxidative rust that the exercise produces then you recycle it and, and that and gets back to pooping and and having regular and frequent urination which isn't a bad thing it's cleansing three trillion cells right and and, and that not out, sexy the and, medical community doesn't like to talk about it because it's not sexy medicine well that's where this comes from now that that we've begun to develop the big triangle the big triangle being the brain the immune system and the gut because if we're not eliminating, if we're not getting that stuff out of there, listen, you know, one thing. Bernie and, Siegel said you're recycling it. Yeah. That was his number one. Dr. Bernie Siegel, the oncologist, that was his number one. That was the first thing he asked all of the female patients in the intake form. Not the first question, but it was certainly on the first page of the form. How regular are you having waste elimination? That's what it's called. Waste, bulk waste elimination and that and i might add normal because you can have diarrhea which is an indication that the gut's in dysbiosis that there's a that it's disease and and, <clears throat> and we keep throwing out the word dysbiosis so let's let's define it because it might be the first time some people have heard it um dysbiosis is an imbalance between good bacteria and because and a lot of people don't don't want to you know the people that are walking around they obsess with finding the very next antibacterial um, bottle so they can squeeze it. You know, I see people walk around the club and boy, they're looking for where we have those little squirt things so they can go and, and they bathe themselves in it to make sure because they've heard about there's MRSA out there and there's all these things like we talked about last week. And last week strange. we talked about it. The right. CDC's threat report for 2013. I'd recommend every listener Google that on your smartphone. You might even get smart. 
but but they, they 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 don't understand that we have to build the terrain of the body to resist those things. Yeah, but I liked what you said. We're eighty five percent good bacteria, but we're not virgins. There's, right. We know that there was only one virgin. And, and you know, without the without the bad bacteria, right. the good bacteria does no good. That's right. right. That's correct. And that's one of the reasons why GMOs are so dangerous. They're disturbing the normal biosis of the gut by introducing genetically modified bacteria that the good guys don't know what to do with. That's another issue. That's another reason why October is not only Cancer Awareness Month, it's GMO Labeling Month. And by the way, both stores in Ormond and in Port Orange are going to be doing events. I invite the listeners to go to lovewholefoods.com, bring up the October calendar. We're going to be doing several events to raise awareness about not only the GMO threat, but also to experience the foods that are that are making the commitment to being GMO free. That's our new passion at Love Whole Foods. It isn't just organic anymore. The the I have to tell you the the GMO issue is a threat to the entire organic firewall that we've been emphasizing for this last year. And I and I mean it. On October twenty seventh, we're gonna be doing an event at Cinematique. That's Monday at 7 o'clock. We're going to be showing genetic roulette. That'll be free. I invite folks to come in. Um, I, 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 it's, it's an issue that is paramount in this creating the environment of the gut that literally doesn't allow these new pathogens, C. diff, MRSA. And then, of course, just go back to that threat report. We've got other new antibiotic-resistant bacteria that our bodies used to be able to combat, and we can't anymore, primarily because of the overuse of the antibiotics. And, and Mitch, I'm trying to get the schedule up for for your upcoming events, and I'm I'm in September. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, I, uh, it it doesn't. Yeah. The October doesn't come up until until October until October. Because, so it'll be up, it'll be up on Monday. But you have two major events: November seventh, and I think October the third. Is that correct? October third, Dr. Michael Murray. For those listeners, Dr. Michael Murray, uh, who was the chief uh, medical officer at at Natural Factors is going to be giving a presentation at the Calvary Church that's just west of 95. It's not going to be at our Ormond campus. The venue is, needs to be large enough. There are going to be 300, 400 people there, and that's at 7 o'clock. And Michael's going to be talking about how to treat insomnia, stress, and, and, and most important, depression and anxiety without using drugs. That's big, and that's free. And then on October 9th, there's going to be a Women's Night event at the Ormond campus. Um, two incredible healthcare providers are going to be doing a presentation on breast health. And it's going to be talking, one subject is going to be uh, thermography, which is going to be fascinating to women that want an alternative to painful uh, mammograms that also uh, expose them to a lot of radiation. So those are the three biggies, October 3rd, the 9th, the 27th, and then, of course, our preeminent thank you to um, the, our, our customers that have allowed us to thrive for 25 years. November 7th at the Ormond campus, we're going to be doing a tent event that's going to be a kick-ass, excuse me, a kick-patootie um, celebration of um, having made it through the worst depression since my parents' generation. And um, the guest speaker is going to be Terry Limrod, the man who brought, uh, I call him Commander Kuriman. He is the one who brought turmeric uh, into the American vernacular. Talk about an anti-inflammatory. Well, you know, that's one of the other things that I'm doing from the standpoint of making sure I stay healthy for my dance practice is uh, Leslie Patterson, who you know uh, is, your, is your rep and a great educator. and, and yeah, she, made, she works for Terry. And, and had a presentation at uh, at the Port Orange store this past month, I believe it was. Yeah. Um, she she I I got the curcumin, and I'm getting more and more of my members on the curcumin, because it, what it helps is with the inflammation. It, it's as it's, powerful as a COX two inhibitor, Celebrex. And that, t- but okay. it doesn't have any of the side effects. And, and let people understand what a COX two inhibitor is, Mitch, because there's a lot of people out there. Listen, we've talked about you know at the first of my little presentation, day, I talked about all these claims, and you know one of the big claims is. You know, I know you're afraid when you have arthritis in your joints. I know you're afraid to go do something because you don't want to hurt. Who wants to hurt? 
and you know it's like I, it's like I, I had I took my own medicine when so to speak when I began this dance challenge and doing the dancing with the stars and, and what I have to keep telling myself in those days that I got up my knee was bothering me. I said you know what if a person came to me and they had arthritis and we were moving through their program I would tell them I said listen I'm gonna be very honest with you and tell you there's gonna be a period of time where we're gonna may have as much as a four to six week adaptation that your body has to adapt to this exercise and we've got to adapt to moving it along at the proper pace it's, it's wonderful when we have a people a person come in like I had a lady come in we began her her you know it, it's, it's so refreshing to the goal to get a goal that the person doesn't go I want to get fit and tone and in shape and I want to look like I used to look it's so refreshing because this lady came in here's what she here's her goal I, I want to stop hurting well, I want to get up in the like morning that. and not hurt and, not and, hurt, and, right. and when we began to look at what she was eating and we began our program. And the, mo- the greatest thing was when she came in the, the, the first day. Now, this is a woman that, that took advantage of that, that special we ran during the summer, which expires on, uh, on this Monday, that for a $799 one-on-one program. And you know what? She's paying you $799 to work her out 18 times, and she's on her second workout, and she's done with the workout, and she looks you in the eyes with this look of this, I owe you everything. She goes, I'm so thankful for what you're doing for wow, me because I feel so much better. And two, work- better and two workouts. You know, that's what we yeah. want to try and create in every person. And, and she couldn't believe that some of the little changes we made, you know, the big one is, of course, her smoking. But the few of the little changes we made to her program have begun to, to flourish for her already that her energy level is coming back. That was her secondary thing. She says, I said, well, what's another one? And I expect she's going to go, well, I want to get muscles or this. You know, she goes, I want to have some energy. Now, more and more, when we deal with 50 and 60 year old people, that's what we're hearing. We don't. I don't hear as many people coming in. You know, they come in and say, "I want to lose my fat." But somewhere in those first two or three, now we're starting to hear about, "Oh, I, I need energy. I need to feel better." And 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 arthritis is a big thing. Well, you know what? When we start a program properly, and, and when I do a program for someone who is arthritic laden, laden, here's here's what I have to be very conscious of: the muscle responds so much quicker to the exercise than the ligaments around the joint because those ligaments around the joint they get an awful lot of of um uh, i'm sorry the muscles around the joint they get an awful lot of blood flowing through them they're well innervated they have good circulatory system uh, uh, but that uh, soft cartilage doesn't have doesn't any have it. And, and and that's why i think possibly why some of the supplements like the curcumins and the things the alfalfa and things well, you know there. glucosamine sulfate didn't Glucosamine sulfate, which is a household word, was introduced by Terry Limrod. The guy coming on November 7th at, at the Ormond campus is the man that introduced pharmaceutical grade glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate. Uh, and it was the glucosamine, as you know, when you combine it with other nutrients like uh, omega 3s and, and certain B vitamins, that it can actually help that cartilage regenerate itself. And and we we've seen that and and what, you know this is completely off the question but we did start talking about toxicity and a lot of people you know I, I have a lot of people that have uh, come to me and said you know um, doctor says I have I have fatty liver now ironically a lot of those people are on an awful lot of medications okay plus the toxins they have because they don't have good eating habits sure and the, and the body stores and, it in the liver and and so here's a question to you Mitch because the milk thistle and things like that. Do they do they only cleanse the liver, or do they also help regenerate the liver to cells? Once you clean it, the that's a really good question. And Michael Murray, by the way, who is going to be speaking again October third, in in his liver health product, it's called Liver Health, which by the way, the whole Natural Factors line is on sale at twenty five percent off. But his attitude was that every American, every American past puberty needs to take milk thistle every day when you cleanse the liver and get it in a purified state it knows what to do it regenerates itself as you know you can as we know from larry hagman you can hack off half your liver and it'll regenerate a third it's the only gland that's capable of doing that but you got to clean it first right when hagman was swimming in in not only um toxicity but um maybe um too much of the uh, of the brewskis, when you're swimming in alcohol, the liver can never get its head above water. It never regenerates. 
And then what does it do? It keeps packing it in, packing it in, packing it in. And there's every doctor out there that's listening, what's the one thing he looks at first when he has a client on 15 medications? Liver health. Liver health. Yeah. He's looking at those enzymes. Anyone listening on this radio broadcast that's on a statin drug, it's required by law. It isn't whether or not your doctor misses you. It's required by law so that you don't get the so that they don't get the law firms beating down their neck. That if you're on a statin drug, you have to have your liver enzymes monitored every six months. You can be on tamoxifen, folks. You can be on chemo, which is what this article on the on Wednesday's paper was talking about. The another article was for women to prevent the occurrence of breast cancer to take systemic tamoxifen that's another story but the key is you could be on tamoxifen and they don't monitor your liver enzymes every six months that's one of the reasons why i have a whole handout on statin drugs they are the most toxic prescribed drug in american pharmacology so i want to come back now and talk a little bit more about exercise and i want to talk about the exercise scheme of the way we approach it at bodies personalized fitness you know, we've talked an awful lot about your nutrition. We've talked an awful lot about how you can benefit by getting good nutrition, good food into your body, even the use of certain supplements. But but let's be honest. Most people are overlooking when it comes to fitness. They're overlooking the, the necessity as well as the value and really the intent of what strength training should do. Strength training, you know, I, 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 gave, I had a meeting with my staff this week, and I talked to educate them uh, uh, because it's a constant ongoing process that the education we're getting in regards to burst training when we first began doing uh, burst training we would have called it interval training and, and it came from the standpoint of there was a McMaster study back in the late 90s early 2000s that looked at elite bikers and it looked at these bikers and here's how they looked at a Mitch what they did with them was they said look we're gonna put you on an 18 mile ride and we're gonna check your time on it and then they took this 150 or so uh, elite bikers, they divided it up into two groups of 75 or 80 each, and they said, look, group A, you're gonna keep training like normal elite bikers do, 90 minutes every day, spinning at 120 revolutions a minute, and pedaling your bikes, okay? But this other group, we're gonna have you train only three days a week, a total of 30 minutes each time. And you're gonna ride for four minutes to warm up, and then you're gonna hit a 30 second blast as hard as you can go, as, far, as hard as you can pedal, like you're pedaling up a hill. And then you're going to do four minutes where you recover, and you're going to do that four-minute blast. At a light where you, where you really tone it down for the four recover. minutes. Right. And what you're actually doing is driving your body through that aerobic threshold where your heart rate goes up to that six, uh, 65% of 220 minus your, range, uh, your age. is what That's what they use as predictable. We use actually perceived exertion levels for this because you can tell a lot more by the breathing patterns. And then, and then when they're in that burst, what do they do? They go up and they go through what's called the anaerobic threshold. And, it, and if you look at the energy sources that are going on, what happens is in, those, in, that, in that pre-aerobic threshold, you're using blood sugar. When you're in the aerobic zone, you're using fat as a primary source. And when you're in that anaerobic threshold, way up high, that, uh, above that 80% of 220 minus your age predicted, you're using blood glycogen. So we, they... Um, we, we actually monitor that in our cardio coaching wow. program now because wow. of something, that's because great. that's a great indicator of how, how well we're taking them through their fight or flight response and getting this catecholamine uh, flush that comes from the recovery aspect of that. So now, so now I'm explaining to the staff that this little history about these, this, this research in the 30 seconds and they have four minutes and 30 seconds and they're only training 30 minutes at the end of, of a 12 week period of time. They look at the results and the group that is trained traditionally five days a week, 90 minutes a day, um, they have an improvement in their in their score because they just got better because they adapted. Okay, the group that trained uh, 30 minutes a day, three times a week, a total of 90 minutes, their improvement was 23 percent more than wow. those people when they when they rode that 18 mile bike ride wow. again. Now, <clears throat> we. We, we have sophisticated that with help from our friends at Oklahoma State and Ohio State University that I, ha I have their research exercise sciences. And we've refined it in our cardio coaching system now where our regiments are nine minutes and they've used six to 10 second burst and we make sure we can, we have the right equipment with our Cyphon equipment that we can look at the load at the, and we can get a great load for them to work out which normal machines in a fitness center don't give you. Right. Now, I, I then came back to my staff and said, now, in the old days, when bodies was a little bi baby, and it was an 800 square feet, and I had eight Nautilus machines and, and four what they called Nautilus leverage machines that have a total of 12 exercises. 
we would work a person and we would work them for about a minute real hard on their exercise they go to what we call volitional fatigue in other words their muscle couldn't work anymore they would get up and they go to a different muscle group and they would get there within 10 seconds on that machine and they would start an exercise again and the total program was less than 20 minutes every time we tested their their aerobic efficiency it got better why it's strength training we were told for years that to increase your cardiovascular conditioning what do you have to do you have to go do something for 40 to 60 minutes a day right. you have to ride a bike you have to right. pedal you have to you have to go in a canoe right the old army um, um, calisthenics program. right the, the, PT. You know, just no pain no gain right yeah. so 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 now I started to draw the parallel of what was happening now that we know so much, what was happening to the heart rate and what was happening to the rest periods and how it mimics what we're doing in our burst training through our strength training. And I said, all we've done is give people another venue that goes into their comfort zone because people, people are very comfortable with getting on cardiovascular equipment. They're not real comfortable getting on strength training equipment because what's your first thing you say? Oh, I get on that, I'm going to hurt my shoulder, I'm going to hurt my arm. Uh, what if the weight's too big? Well, if the weight's too big, if you're exercising properly, you, should be, you shouldn't be getting hurt. Okay? Well, and that's why you need to go to a, a, a premium facility like yours. So when, so when we look at the exercise scheme, we have three memberships in our club. We have the membership that gives you, you're in control of your membership or your workout. <coughs> you go in our Bodies Express area. You use this great equipment we have, and that suffices. That's the person that wants a quiet facility. They want a $30 a month membership so it competes with the Golds and the Ys and all that kind of stuff. But what we really do is our supervisor, our body coach, is our most popular membership. And in that membership, there's always someone on the floor. It's like a small group personal training. There's someone there always setting your seat heights and weights. There is a system that you move through. So now you're learning how to exercise. And it then gives you the benefit of our what we call body by science keys, which teach you how to interval train or burst train, as we put the word on it, so that you're more efficient in burning your calories. The third membership is the benchmark program of bodies. It is the one-on-one -on -one program. It's where you spend an hour and a half with me to go through your medical history, your desires, your goals. Uh, we talk about your learning style. And then what do we do? We come, we develop a personal program for you, and every appointment is one-on-one. -on -one. Now, that program is on sale for 18 workouts for $799. Now, I know you can buy three years of membership at some places for that, but this is the program that's going to produce in nine weeks tremendous results for you whatever your goals are because the program will be custom fit for you but the core of the program is strength training now let's talk about strength training strength training is meant to be intense it's not meant to go you, if you don't have the adaptive process if you don't have the adaptive process going on in your strength training you're not going to be able to change your body those of you that are going to the gym and you look exactly the same and you're doing those sets, you're doing 10 sets of this exercise or whatever, you probably don't have one set in there that's challenging you to change your body. So this is the important far, point of where, where we work. It is called working out. Working out means that we are going to challenge the body. We want an efficient tool. I know that it's very sexy to stand around with dumbbells or to have those, those bench presses that, that you get the straight bar and you can hear yourself clang on those, that 135 pounds on each side and show all this weight on there and, and it's, it's, it's jiggling while, you know, it's going while you're working it. But you know the problem, the problem with that is, is that not everybody can lift those weights and so now you're embarrassed because you can't lift as much. The tool, the thing that amazes me about exercise is this, Mitch is you mentioned it. You said, you know what? In the old days, what did we do? We did PT. We did, we did right. physical exercise in, in the, in yeah, the, in the Army, the, Navy, and all that, right? Boot camp. Army basic training stuff that right. was, you know. We ran. We did push-ups. We did jumping right. jacks. We did, we did reaches and stuff like that, right? Right. 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 So we do that. <clears throat> and now a guy comes along through the 70s, and he invents a universal machine, right, as a machine for convenience where you just move a pen. Right? That had an idea. They knew what they were trying to do because they had a thing called pro progressive resistance indicator right. on those, but they didn't have a way to really do it. They were trying to do it through levers. Okay? Arthur Jones invents the cam. Now you have a highly effective tool, a tool that is effective through 70 to 80% of your range of motion, whereas a, a dumbbell, a barbell, is efficient in two spots of your strength. Exactly. Curve. And, of course, the big breakthrough was computers. They could put an actual sensor on the muscle group to see what. how did they determine that. 
The computers changed everything like it did in every industry. Right. Um, the, the, <clears throat> literally, it's, it's, it's an old paradigm, just like we're discussing on the new paradigm of health. You don't just fix your heart. You don't just fix your, your achy joint. You don't just fix it stinking thinking. It's all one terrain. It's all one playing field. And if you fix what you, when you want to do the fix, like let's take Terry Naturally's curcumin. It's working with depression and mood swings. It's working with as a COX-2 inhibitor. It's working with gut dysbiosis. Curcumin will actually reverse a peptic ulcer. It, 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 clinically shown to Harvard Medical School. Anybody that wants to come in, I'll show them the medical report. It, it, but it gets better. It's used specifically for cancer. MD Anderson and and the Moffitt in um, uh, the in in Dallas uh, Medical Center. You come to either of the two stores. The one at sixteen thirty three Taylor Road, just west of ninety five, and exit two fifty six. Or you can come to the one at 275 Williamson Boulevard in Ormond Beach. This information is free. Everyone who attends that program on November 7th is going to get a copy of that medical data. It's not infomercial. It's these medical institutes giving you that information. And then I just want to remind everybody, thank you so much. Go to lovewholefoods.com and, uh, and, and pick up. October is going to be... A kick patootie month. I got to just tell you, uh, you're going to be dancing your patootie, and uh, we're going to be November 10th. I'm dancing. All right, all right. Well, then, then right after Terry, uh, then you got to come and do this with Terry because there'll be samples. And now uh, I got to tell you, want to sample up before you hit that dance floor, Tasso. All right. Well, listen, that's uh, November 7th with uh, with Terry, right? November Terry, 7th. Right, and oh, that's okay. at the Orman campus. We're okay. October 3rd. It's at the Calvary Church. All right, we have about two minutes left in the show, so I want to thank people for uh, tuning in to Fitness Friday today. I remind you that bodies personalize fitness. And remember last week I started talking about it, and we're going to begin to talk a great deal more about it next week on the show. But the family fitness and the family health is very important to us. So we're going to give your family the gift of health. Here's what we are going to begin. Remember, on Monday, our offers from the summer expire of that 799-18 workout one-on-one program. But beginning on Monday... We will also begin now Family Fitness Month. That's so whole what, family. Whole family. And so what's this? You you join a normal single membership. You are allowed to bring your wife or husband, whichever is joining, and your children into the membership. It will be a family membership until January the 1st. Well, that's a game changer. Okay? So now you're talking about you're not paying you're not paying for five people or four people or three people. You're paying for one person to receive the same supervised service. 672-6464 is the number. Set up an appointment and come see us. Family Fitness Month at Bodies, where when you join for a single membership at normal fees, you'll receive fitness membership for your whole family. I hope everybody gets out and supports high school football here on WNDB. I hope they can play tonight with the rain. Support those kids in your neighborhood because you know what? It does make a difference. Come to Bodies Personalized Fitness, Love Whole Foods, or Dr. Fon at Beauty, Beauty and Acupuncture on Granada. Hey. God bless. God bless, folks.